So finally, it's arrived. Let's open it up. Some packaging. Cam box helmet camera made in France. This is what you get on the side. So this version, I believe, is 4K uh, 30 or 4K 60. I believe it's this version. So this is what you get when you open it. A couple of items. So this is the main camera. Um, you basically get a cam box guide. Ah, perfect. So, uh, welcome, Cambox V4 and V4 ready. Uh, charge up your camera. Certain instructions there. Uh, some more instructions how to to mount it, and then how to connect to your smartphone. Okay. What else do you get inside of here? Um, Designed by Cambox. A QR code of some sort. And finally, okay, maybe from this side, this looks like the charger. Ah, beautiful. So they give you a USB uh, to Type C uh, cable. Now onto the main event, history begins now. They're really hyping it up. And let's open it up. Something's already fallen out. Put that to one side. Now straight off the bat, oh, you've got this um, Velcro. So this, I believe, is what you attach to the helmet. They give you a nice lens cloth. And this is it then, this is the main camera. Boom, this is your Cambox V4 Pro. So it is very uh, lightweight, it's very small. Uh, this is where the um, uh, camera itself is. Let's just remove this. Boom, there you go. So clean looking lens, a nice Cambox sort of logos there this is the part which you stick onto your helmet so i believe boom there you go so you see i mean that's not positioned well but anyway it's stuck with velcro and i just peel this off and stick that in my helmet we're gonna go for the installation uh, in a in a bit uh size wise you can tell this is a a good representation it's i mean from the top of my middle finger down to uh, the bottom of my palm. So it's uh, it's fairly small, this is. Uh, I'm trying to understand the different parts. Now at the back, you got this wireless or Wi-Fi setting. I think it has a built-in Wi-Fi of its, of its own. And I've got this uh, strap over here. I mean, do I, do I pull that? Probably doing this wrong. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Nearly broke something. Ah, oh, well, I didn't break anything. I've actually opened up the um, beautiful. This is the SD card slot, and that's the charging uh, charging slot. So I hope that's coming across nicely. There you go. Um, flexibility wise, now. So yeah, it's got wings. <laughs> it, it, it bends quite quite well. Obviously, you don't want to do that too much. But yeah, there is a bit of. Uh, there is a bit of leeway, uh, if you were. So let me go ahead and familiarize myself with the instructions. This is the most important bit now. This is my first time ever using a cam box. So I'm going to have to read this thoroughly. Uh, this is my only sort of guide to setting it up. So number one, uh, the cam box is easy, easy to set up. Charge your camera uh, for approximately four hours. Okay, so... Obviously solid green light means it's done. Red light means uh, battery is charging. 
After we charge it, we need to insert the memory card. Now, I'm gonna show you the memory card I've got. The, the camera application will not be operational without a memory card, okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna use one of these, SanDisk uh, Pro uh, or Extreme Pro 64 GB. This should do the trick. Now, after that, this is the most important bit. Install the Velcro mounting. Leave your helmet and the Velcro mounting in a dry and uh, temperate place, 18 to 23 degrees. Wait four to five hours before any uh, gluing or use, okay. All right, it's been a few hours. The cam box is charged now. As I show you my helmet, this is a, a Bell KC7. And currently for GoPro and Insta360 footage, I just use the helmet mount. Uh, so this is the adhesive uh, GoPro helmet mount. And honestly, it's been very secure. Never has my GoPro uh, flown off or even the Insta360, which is, um, is it the, the X2 version I have, the, 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 the tall one? Even that has, has never sort of come off. So the idea is we need to mount this securely. And the way we're going to mount this is right over here at the upper part of the helmet. So obviously it'll look like this. So it'll be mounted just over here. But to get the lighting right for you guys and for also for me to see to, to get this done correctly, Let's uh, let's go ahead and do it. So let's peel this adhesive uh, sticker. There you go. Wow, it's uh, it's fairly sticky. You can see the actual material. Let's take it all off. Boom. See, very very sticky and sturdy. Now I need to be quick and precise. So so basically, I've stuck it on, and there you go. I think I've done a decent job. I mean, it certainly has stuck fine to to the helmet. Now the main uh, and most important bit is to put the actual camera on now. So be something like this. Boom. That, that looks clean. You know, the first impressions is, uh, yeah, obviously it sticks out and all, but it's certainly has a clean look to it, but yeah, it's meant to, it's meant to hold up well. I'm shaking it. Uh, it's not coming off, which is a good start. Last but not least, let's connect uh, this to our smartphone. So I've downloaded the app. I'm gonna have to press the Wi-Fi button and then search for Cambox. Cool, boom. So we got Wi-Fi over there. Password is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join. Boom. See, we're connected now. So we're connected to the cam box. It's taking a minute. Boom. There we go. All right. Cam box is connected. Click below to begin a new experience. The battery of your thing is charged further enough. You could charge it more. Okay, so apparently I'm on 71%. Uh, I'm pretty sure it, it was it was full. All right, these are some video settings. So on your settings mode, you've got standard, and it lets you adjust this stuff. Duration of video sequences. Uh, then you've got this thing called pro mode. So you can change the ISO value, saturation, contrast, sharpness as well. Cool. Uh, ergonomics. This has auto record, so automatically starts video recording when the camera turns on. Ah, okay, that's why whenever I press the button, it turns on. Well, yeah, to be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Um, I just wanna press one button and make sure I'm recording. Uh, you've got a couple of modes over there, and then finally you've got admin. So admin is all about, yeah, just firmware and application version. All right, unboxing part done. Let's head over to the track now, do some thorough testing, and catch up with you guys then. First impressions, uh, I can feel it slightly touching on my forehead. Not a huge amount. Um, I can sort of see this flashing green light at the top of my eye. Um, but 
new eyes, not restricted, just a flashing green light there. So here we are at the Villaggio karting track, a typical bumpy indoor karting track, so a great way to test how sturdy the mount is of the cam box. And I booked four sessions. By the fourth session, unfortunately the mount became very loose and it started to sag on the left hand side of my helmet. So at the beginning of every lap, I have to pull my visor up, push the cam box up so it sticks, make sure it doesn't fall down, and repeat that constantly. That was the only negative of this camera. However, stay tuned for my upcoming video where I create a DIY custom mount which is a lot more rigid and sturdy. The camera quality is decent. It was 4K 30fps. I would have liked to use 4K 60fps, but I just didn't have the option on my camera. So I'm not too sure what happened there. And the stabilization could have been a bit better. I'm gonna post a video, Cambox versus GoPro versus Insta360, and show you a side-by-side -side comparison of me doing laps at the same track with the different camera angles. Let me break down the cost of the camera for you. It was $448 for the camera, minus $21 as a Black Friday discount, and then you have to add $44 for shipping. So in total, I paid $471, which in my opinion is quite expensive. Now, when it comes to buying a camera, it really depends on your needs and if your track allows you to record. Many rental car tracks that I go to do allow me to use a GoPro on top of my helmet. In saying that, there's been a number of tracks who refuse and don't allow me to use my GoPro on my helmet due to safety reasons and insurance. And also, if you do professional karting competitions in the regulations of that event, generally they prohibit GoPros to be attached to your helmet during the race. So that's why I ended up buying the cam box. Because this is an internal camera, within your helmet, you should be able to get away with using it during a race, and this way you can record your footage. Now I was disappointed that the mount I received couldn't hold the camera for more than 30 minutes of driving, but as I said, I'm working on a DIY custom mount, which will be a lot stronger and safer, and I hope to give you guys that review and video soon. Now I want to ask you guys your opinion on the cam box. Is it overhyped? Is it overpriced? Or is it the best alternative to use if helmet mounted cameras such as GoPros and Insta360s are not allowed at the karting track? Let us know in the comments.